Bitcoin's correction after surpassing $70,000 to $67,000 has left many investors questioning the implications of this Bitcoin correction. With Bitcoin trading at $66,865.51 and experiencing a 3.85% drop in the last 24 hours, what does this Bitcoin correction mean for the crypto market, and what trends are emerging? Despite the recent Bitcoin correction, investor interest in Bitcoin remains robust, evident from the steady BTC ETF inflows. U.S. Bitcoin ETFs have managed to accumulate a total of 850,707 BTC since January with Grayscale's GBTC ETF holding the largest share at 289,280 BTC. This significant accumulation underscores the growing global interest in Bitcoin, suggesting positive long-term trends despite short-term Bitcoin volatility. Analyzing the current data on Bitcoin correction, one noteworthy metric is the MVRV ratio, which remains high, indicating a substantial number of profitable addresses. However, this isn't without its risks as a major selling threat looms around BTC. Are we seeing this reflected in market sentiment? Interestingly, the long-short ratio for BTC has increased, suggesting a rise in long-term holders. Long-term holders are crucial indicators, as they are less likely to sell during market fluctuations, potentially stabilizing Bitcoin's price amid this crypto correction. On the flip side, BTC's velocity has dropped, signaling a decrease in the frequency of transactions. This could mean more addresses are holding onto their BTC, reflecting a shift towards holding rather than trading among users. Turning our focus to Bitcoin miners, their role can't be overlooked. When miners' income decreases, there's a tendency for them to sell their assets to remain solvent. However, miners' daily revenues saw an increase last month, rising from $29,981,891 to $39,242,392, indicating that, for now, miners are relatively better off financially. This financial cushion for miners can contribute to market stability, reducing the pressure to sell off BTC during this Bitcoin correction. Another aspect to consider is the behavior of short-term investors. The price dip post $70,000 can partly be attributed to many short-term investors taking profits. This phenomenon is a natural part of the crypto market cycle, where price surges lead to profit-taking, followed by corrections and Bitcoin corrections. In terms of adoption, the increase in BTC ETF accumulation illustrates a growing trust and acceptance of Bitcoin as an investment vehicle. As more investors, both institutional and retail, pour into the Bitcoin ecosystem, it reinforces the cryptocurrency's resilience and long-term potential despite temporary corrections. This Bitcoin correction to $67,000 isn't necessarily indicative of a market crash or downturn but rather a part of the natural ebb and flow of the crypto market. Long-term investors are holding their positions, which can provide stability against Bitcoin volatility. Miners are currently in a strong financial position, reducing the risk of mass sell-offs from this segment. And with increasing ETF inflows, the broader trend suggests growing global interest and adoption, despite the short-term price dip. This reinforces the importance of monitoring these Bitcoin trends and crypto signals. Understanding these dynamics helps navigate the complexities of the crypto market. Whether you're a seasoned investor or a newcomer, staying informed is key. To stay updated with the latest trends and insights in the crypto market, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our kale, and hit the notification bell. Your comments and thoughts on this Bitcoin corrections future are welcome below. How do you see the market evolving post this Bitcoin correction? Are we in for another market rebound, or is cautious optimism the way forward? Let's continue the discussion. Thanks for watching this BTC analysis and keeping up with the latest crypto signals, Bitcoin trends, and detailed market analysis amidst this fascinating BTC consolidation.